And hello there and welcome to another Survival Fountain of Youth a little video here. And on this video here, we're going to tell you about the uh, best places to build a you know your big bases in this game. So right at the start, you're going to have to build a mini base, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, and the best place is actually right where you start. Uh, right here along this cliff wall right here, there's going to be a place where you can actually put your fire and stuff like that in your bed and have it with no rain. And that's going to be important because, you know, this place rains a lot and we don't want to go, go far away from our resources and you know since this, this is the starting area and this is the best place to actually start sticking your bed and stuff like that without, you don't have to build a big base and then you can start building all your stuff right out here as you see fit as you see I didn't do that and I regretted it I thought it was gonna be fun and uh, to build my base over in this cave over here I thought that would be a good idea but it's not it's too it's too far of a run to run keep running back and forth to get all these other resources and stuff like that uh, it's just not it's just not a good idea and of course the scorpions keep respawning inside that cave too so it's just not the best idea uh it, it really was would have been a better idea just to start your little base right here but don't go too uh, uh off on you know gung-ho in this base building uh get to your you're ready to build a cart and then as soon as your cart is ready to go uh pack up everything and move on out and take your cart and then follow this wall around here and then hug this place right here since we can't go across this area right here with your cart unfortunately you might have dipped in through here to grab that like you know the obsidian like i said in some other videos but just go along here and uh you know it's, it's pretty easy to follow the pathway and then right through here and then come over to here and start building your base uh, right over here by this fishing spot i got a dock over there uh, right now because I was going to build a base here but I just decided not to uh, waste my time on it yet uh, but yeah I'll come over here and do that but still make your base over here because this is a really good place for all these trees like check out all these trees right here this is like the one of the most densely packed areas for trees I cut down a lot of them already uh, but yeah just like right over here there's tons of trees that can be cut down and then you convert them convert them into building materials and then you'll have no problem building a big base anywhere you see fit and have lots of rooms and uh, all that kind of stuff and keep it out of the sun and rain for your workstations and stuff like that so you don't get sick and you work efficiently and all of that kind of stuff or build little overhanging uh, things like that. So that covers the starting island right here and that's all I really need for your base building stuff. As soon as you get done here, you build your ship and then your ship is your basically your base. You build your ship and then you can take your little raft or everything and just go around the whole island and park it off places and then dip in that way instead of like you know uh, doing that and build some docks uh more docks places you don't have to stop with a dock right here for fast travel if you're going to come over here and you want to you know check out this area here and uh, do some stuff over here just build a dock and then when you're done uh done going back and forth and collecting all the resources that are everywhere on the map like you're done collecting all the resources here you might want to put a dock right here so you can grab these branches like come through here and grab everything through here uh you, after you're done just take the dock apart and then you, you don't have to worry about it no more you might want to come over here and you know get the sunken ship and get the uh the nice book for speed swimming i think that one is it's just a nice worthwhile option to get right there uh, but yeah that's what the uh that's what i recommend building here now we go to the harder part is like you are out of here now we're going into the next region where do you want to build your base in this area here i would recommend just following the quest line and going right into this copper uh the, the copper island actually so yeah copper island you're going to dock right over here is probably the best place to dock uh, maybe over here yeah, it could be good if you want to go all the way around uh, but this is an okay place to dock you get a fishing area and stuff like that and just basically run right through here and uh, build your cart of course when you're doing your ship and stuff like that i uh, get all the ingredients for your cart and then i recommend of course building the improved cart on this island right here you're gonna have a little bit of copper maybe uh beforehand or not but this is the island you might want to build your improved cart but you don't need a lot of stuff because you just got to come through here and then the straight through this pathway and then you know a hook a hook you know right through there and then right here is the center of the island basically and this is already a pre-built base uh basically all almost all your stuff is already there uh you know basically level one stuff for the most part but it's still there uh so all this stuff is here and it's also centralized because there's three copper mines here there's one right over here and there's one up here and one over here and there's a clay mine here the clay deposit here so and that's a big clay deposit there's tons of clay in there more than you'll ever need since you can't really build anything the clay anyways but you can use it to cook food if you want i guess but whatever your clay needs are you have a lot and this of course is centralized and you have a lot of the other the big sticks and you got some other things like that around here which is okay you just don't have access to a lot of these uh, long sticks and stuff like that for your base you're going to have to go back over to here you know like right where you're past by my long sticks not a far ship to going this way to get some more long sticks so you're good to go and then you got some of the, the other wavy branches or whatever the other branches over there for uh, other things and i think there's some hard is there any hard cannonball trees yeah the cannonball 
cannonball trees have the hard sticks right there. So that's what they look like. Uh, that symbol right there, cannonball, cannonball tree. Uh, they have the hard sticks for your other things, for your upgrade things. So this is, you can have right here, and just you know, gold nuts on the base right that's already here. You, uh, unfortunately, you can't build inside the tents, but this really is will be the best place and I didn't do that because you know I didn't know but this is where I found this is what after coming here and having the base is like almost already there this is like the best place to get started and you're safe from all the drag uh, you know the jaguars and stuff like that from that around this area and you can map it out and have all that nice stuff nearby it just has all these nice resources and the other islands are going to be a pain this one the windy island you're going to need like the you know the best armor just to survive on here because the wind is just going to make you sick all the time unless you know you know you're building stuff for it hey he responded okay Okay, that's neat. I already killed him, but did all that stuff. But yeah, that's nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one here is always windy. It's going to be a pain, and it's still pretty small. There's like very little resources on here. This is like the last quest area. You come on here. Red Island is where I built my base, and it wasn't really a good idea. I stuck it right over here because of all the uh, other resources right here that I saw. Because the date trees, I like I like the date trees and sticking on the. Uh, sticking those uh, things on there to collect the juice uh, they're really effective at you know maintaining your health all the time but this place is hot it's very very hot and not, it's not just sunny it's hot and overheating and you're going to need to build the, the potions for the termite mounds or have your upgraded armor already the, the leather armor basically and if you don't have the leather armor you're going to be screwed and then the copper island is a good place to actually get that going instead of going back and forth and this place here doesn't have very much this is just coal deposits uh, if you're really looking to mine stuff you can come over here and get a lot of coal it's of just making it yourself which is not much of an issue because it's really easy to make with sticks and stuff like that so making coal on your own is not much of a problem and there's only one copper mine here so yeah just that one copper mine it's a far trip for getting everything in here and all it just has all the basic resources and that's that's basically it. everything is basically the same that you know on copper island has all the other things up there you could try to base over here closer to the copper and the trip is just through here yeah, so that could be another place if you do want to make a base on this island uh, maybe go to this side right here if you're going for the copper because you got the dates right here it's, it's pretty easy to build and then you can come right through here and grab all that stuff it's just not much for and not, lots of rope over here you just have to make a nice trip to get your long sticks and that's about it that's what i uh i think right here and everything else is plain and simple but yeah start off copper island and just make your way over here to this base it's already set up you're going to save a lot of resources uh and making a nice big established base right here and it's nice and you'll just go worry about these little tiny little guys which are just mostly annoying and, and that's about it they got a fast respawn rate but uh, yeah they're annoying and it really sucks if you can only build water skins that are heavier than the other things out of them but yeah i guess maybe later they might make something worthwhile make them worthwhile in some way but uh, that's it uh, that's, that's all the items that's what we have right there just to go out really make is basically two bases overall and the other things are just basically outposts to uh, stick you know like over here you don't, you, don't need, you don't need to come here you just need to come here and do the quests and uh, take all the copper away from it uh, basically take the copper and take that and then take off uh, so yeah just have your ship and build a dock and then you're good to go and just worry about one base and then you should be happy uh, and uh, and this is like a centralized location to get your copper and keep getting it because you're going to need you're going to need it all and you're going to keep needing to get more and more and more if, even if if, you, if you ever want to make a crossbow like I mined everything and I don't have enough to really make a crossbow and make the arrows out of it uh, in my experience anyways uh, but that's it uh, thanks for watching and I will uh, see you later